Hey guys, we got a new movie for ya. Today, it's Die Hard from 1988. Die Hard is one of the most awesome action movies probably ever made, aside from the better ones like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Commando or Terminator, but this is something a little bit more extreme. Now, I don't think, in my opinion, that Die Hard actually comes very close uh, to those, you know, big action movies. Actually, for me, it is one of them. Uh, so far, it was the best movie I have seen that was made by John McTiernan, who others probably know as the director of Predator. Oh, yeah. Another, another great movie, but anyway, Die Hard was, as far as I can, as I know, the movie that, that put Bruce Willis on the map. Yeah, he was well known and acknowledged after that movie. He wasn't really well known at the time until he played the actor, I mean, the character John McClane. Yeah, and um, so we're just going to discuss this movie. We're not going to give you away any, uh, uh, like, the, anything really important, like the end or any of the twists that have been, happened during the story. That would be wrong, but we're going to give you our basic impression. could have just assume that people have seen this before. This movie has been out since 1988. Yeah, but you always got to be careful. I mean, there might be some viewers out there who have not seen it. Okay, and fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> we're not going to spoil the ending. Or but if you haven't like seen it, then shame on you. <laughs> yeah, I admit, I saw this movie two years ago, which was quite late. I mean, that was the movie that brought me into, into the action genre, more or less. I didn't care much for those prior to that, but this movie just, it converted me on the spot. I loved it. It's one of my favorite movies. I would say that the, the only reason why I saw this to begin with is because my dad introduced me to the movie Predator, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he said that he had another really cool action movie that I should see if I liked this one, and sure enough, it was Die Hard. That's cool. <laughs> How the irony. Made by the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely ironic. Yeah. So anyway... You got Bruce Willis playing uh, John McClane, that one-man army having to fight a bunch of terrorists in a skyscraper. Sounds pretty cool, and it is. It really is. More or less, he's a New York cop in California that was, as he quoted, invited to a Christmas party by mistake. Yeah. Who, who knew? <laughs> and, and it turned out to be one hell of a party. And... Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, the villain of the movie is is called Hans Gruber, played by Alan Rickman, which probably a lot of people know as Professor Snape from the recent Harry Potter movies. I know him first from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, though. I don't think you've ever heard of that movie. Now, I heard of it, but I didn't see it. Yeah, he played the Sheriff of Nottingham. This guy always seems to play a villain. Yeah. He's like one of those that always play villains, like like Gary Oldman. I hardly ever see him do anything else. But anyway, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Spiders. Uh, <laughs> sc screw Lost in Space. Anyway, um, this movie is one of the few that I say is perfect. There is nothing wrong with it. It's it's not silly over the top. The action is good. The movie is score. The music is pretty good, the actors do a, pr a pretty decent job, and it's just unpredictable to me. It's like, with a lot of action movies, especially when they're with Arnold, ex apologies to all the other Schwarzenegger fans, guys, but Arnold's movies are predictable. You can't go around the fact. This movie is not. I could not predict how this movie would end. I assumed that, you know, uh, it would be a happy ending, but it wasn't obvious. I, I couldn't predict what happened during the movie. Well, it's like, basically, you have German terrorists in the skyscraper, and they are well-armed with... What kind of weapons did they have? Uh, they carried a whole p uh, bunch of uh, pistols, uh, submachine guns, I, s I think I saw an AP-5 somewhere, and a, um, what's it called, an AUG. Uh -huh. um, Didn't they have a bazooka at one point? They have. Ro they brought rocket launchers, yeah, which yeah. is pretty hardcore. It's like, why would you... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. If, if you watch the movie, you're going to find out that the whole... This whole... Uh, the whole plot uh, or the scheme that the Verland follows is very, very well thought through. Um, yeah. Well, point being that uh, yes, you got all these guys with guns, and you have this poor John McClane. He's just a poor New York cop, just trying to get by and all over a Christmas holiday with his, uh, I guess, semi-separate wife, and yeah. who works at the tower. And all he's armed is with his typical police pistol. Yeah. He has to get weapons along the way and survive at, as he goes because he really just has to literally think on his bare feet. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like he has a gun and nothing else. He doesn't even have a bulletproof vest. He's running around in a sweatshirt, and that's it. The only time he ever gets assistance is when he finally does get the pol- the L.A. police attention through, uh, what was it, throwing a guy out of a building? <laughs> throwing a guy out of the building! <laughs> yeah, it was, a pol- it was a police car there was sent to uh, investigate because uh, John tried to call the police, but that bitch that, that was on on duty at that time didn't b- really believe him, so they only sent one guy out there, and uh, he didn't see anything wrong, so John McClane had to get his attention by throwing a, a, a body out of a fucking window, and it hit the police car. Welcome to the party, pal! <laughs> Damn right you are. So, yeah, this is an R-rated movie, uh, mostly for the language, I believe. Oh, while we're talking about the language, here's something cool. Um, Rebori stated, those uh, terrorists are Germans. Well, that is not specifically said in the movie. They certainly do speak German a lot. So, I don't know, they could be communists from a f- former, former DDR or whatever, whatever. But the point is, uh, this is an American movie, right? And what mm-hmm. happens when Americans try to speak German? It sounds funny as hell to us <laughs> native Germans. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I was about to say, how did you take the German dubbing in this American video, since you watched it with me in English? Um, I did, and it was pretty fun, although I couldn't understand a whole lot most of the time, because because <laughs> it was, not because it was spoken wrong, it's just that it was so much action going on, and I didn't expect it, so it was kind of hard to understand it right away. But for the most part, it was okay. I mean... But there was at least one scene where they definitely made a mistake, uh, where um, Gruber tells one of his henchmen to shoot a window, but he says the sentence wrong. Yeah, so, how, how did he say it? You know, you remember how? Um, I, I shice. Sh- no, 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 no. <laughs> he said uh, she's in fenster. While if uh, if it were correct, he would he was he would say. She's auf das Fenster. So not only did he forget a word, he also. Uh, pr- uh, uh, mixed uh, one of the words around, so it's it sounds really bad. Thankfully, that was fixed with a German dub. But this is another thing I gotta bring up. Uh, the German version of this movie is sort of weird. You see, the guy, that, uh, the villain is called Hans Gruber, right? Yes. Uh, his name in the German version is Jack Gruber. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, any reference to uh, you see in the German dub, they all speak German. So th- that the fact that these terrorists are meant to be German is completely ignored. They, uh, they, uh, John still says they look European, but they they, they don't state them being. Uh, uh, you know, there's no indicator that they're just Germans. I could be from anywhere. Could be from Italy for all I care. But the point is, um, in the German dub, there's a lot of things that, that are just. Uh, wrong s- sentences that don't make sense. They have to find some other way to translate them and things get mixed up. It's really weird. Of course you don't notice that when you watch it for the first time if you haven't seen the English version. I'm, I just know that the fun thing is when uh, uh, Die Hard 3 came out um, that, was, that was my favorite. Yeah, it was a pretty good one. Uh, the villain is the uh, the brother of Hans Gruber. But here's a fun thing: in the German dub of that movie, they reversed the name of the villain from first movie back to Hans Gruber. So the <laughs> confusion was perfect. Oh my God! How can <laughs> so I can y'all get no offense? Okay, so my point being, if there's one Die Hard movie that needs a redub, it's this one. Yeah. Seriously. Well, but all that aside, we should just stick with the American version because it is, after all, American movie. So. Yeah, it's just I just wanted to bring this funny bit of trivia uh, up because I think that's something a lot of people wouldn't suspect that that a dub differs so much from the original version, and uh, there's also a lot of censorship as far as the words are concerned. Because we all know uh, John McClane's most famous quote, don't we? Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! yippee ki motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> they didn't translate that. They made a funny sentence, a sentence out of that that sounds like an insult of a, a, a second grader would use. Oh, no. So, uh, yeah, that didn't work out uh, very well. Mm-hmm. It probably explains why this movie's only rated 16 over here. But anyway, Die Hard Rocks, it's a great movie. It has a lot of suspense, good acting. Um, if you like action movies, you haven't seen this... Pick it up as soon as you can. And if you like it, well, chances are you're going to enjoy the sequels. Because, unlike with some action movies, 
I think that Die Hard sequels were all pretty damn good. I especially liked the, um, the second one. The second one was good. It was basically the same as the first, except at a different location. But there's nothing wrong with that. At least they stuck with the... With the formula, yeah. With the formula. And then you had the third one, and they t- took it a little bit further. And that was really good. And they and it also included the actor of Samuel L. Jackson. Mm, was it him? Was that his name? Yeah, it was him. Okay, and then there then came the fourth one, which is more present day, and that was pretty much the same thing as the third one, only a little bit more expanded and more technical threats. Yeah, what was it called? Live free or die hard? Live free or die hard. There could be a bit of mix mix up with the titles here, because you have die hard, die hard two, and then die hard with a vengeance, and then it's live free or die hard. Well, here's some fun trivia again. Take a guess what the German title of, of the fourth Die Hard movie is. It's Die Hard 4.0. At, f- at first I, la- I laughed my ass off being at one, uh, once again one of these ridiculous titles like like uh, Resurrection or Reloaded. You know those titles that are way overused and always hint at a bad movie? Um, in this case, but let's face it, in this case it actually made sense because this movie was about the internet and all that. So 4.0 sort of made sense. Granted, but yeah, still. they're probably titled better than the American titles. But you I, know what? If we keep with the franchise, then I guess it can be ignored. I mean, come on, look at Jaws sequels and the Alien titles. The Alien ones are completely fucked up, but we're going to talk about that when we get to those. Yeah. As for, as for Die Hard, um, what is your final verdict? I would say 9.8 or 10. That's cool. For me, it's a 10 out of 10. It's one of my favorite movies. I see nothing wrong with it. The action is just right. Like we said, it's it's perfect. I don't see anything wrong with it for what it tr- uh, tried to be. Yeah, definitely check it out. So If, if you haven't already, shame on you again! Yeah, I don't mean to insult you guys. It's just that <laughs> if you call yourself an action fan, you haven't seen this. You haven't lived yet. Yeah. Sorry, but that's a, that's a fact. So anyway, um, yeah. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned for our next review. Maybe we're going to do some more action movies at some point. Maybe even some of the Die Hard sequels. You never know. Yeah, hopefully do some LPs too, but we still have some kinks to work out. Yeah, some issues with a mic here. But uh, trust me, if we figure out how to do that, our Let's Play will come with Dead Space. Mm-hmm. So, that's uh, Reaper and Zeno signing off. Adios. See ya, guys. <laughs>